crazy if you think silver's going to moonshot. Gold too, for that matter. Why on earth would these local coin shops and online retailers sell you their metal if they too believed that metals would increase in price? I've heard this statement online a hundred times and all I can say is that you guys are thinking about it a little bit wrong. Let me talk about business in general. Forget the product, forget the volatility. How do companies make money? Shop owners are generally not traders. They're not stackers and they aren't collectors. While they may have their own personal things, it's business aside. Many shop owners could put themselves out of business if they thought like we do. Why is that? Because the business model coin shops used is based off replacement costs. The best analogy I can think of is a comic book store or a used car lot. The comic book shop owners, they have thousands and thousands of comic books and they know that some of these comic books will be worth a fortune in 50 years. Same with the car dealer. But they sell them anyways. Why is that? Why does a used car lot sell their classic cars? If they just waited 50 years, they could make a fortune, right? Well, businesses are about cash flow. They need product leaving the store and they need product entering the store at a cheaper price. A coin shop is the same way. They may sell me this American Silver Eagle for $20, but their replacement cost is only $19. Regardless of the spot price, this is how the trade will work. If spot is $50 an ounce, they'll sell me that Eagle for $53, and then they'll give me $51 for it. You can see that the spot price doesn't affect their business model. I had an opportunity to ask my local coin shop what it takes to run the shop and how we started it up. He told me all it cost was $20,000 and enough inventory for a week of sales. I looked at his inventory and it's worth well over a million dollars now. How did he get there with only twenty dollars to $50,000 investment? It's not because he held on for dear life and sold at a peak and then refused to buy back until the spot was low again. It's because he constantly and consistently makes 50 cents to a dollar off every single ounce of silver he sells. If he sells a lot that day, he, he can just make a large order in order to replace what he had already sold at a lower cost than what he sold it for. Once again, the spot price doesn't affect the business model. Sell for a fair price, buy at a lower price. This $1 price gap changes with every type of coin or chunk of metal he deals with. The price gap for an American Silver Eagle is going to be different than that of this 50% half crown. is going to be different than that of this premium two ounce generic round, which will then be different than this kilo bar and which would be different than a poured bar such as this. This is why local coin shops like American Silver Eagles. They're always going to make a dollar or two off you. Junk silver, they will always make a dollar. Bullion in general, they will always make a dollar. Picture it like this. The local coin shop has 40 people walk in that day. Each person buys 10 ounces. That's $400 profit for the store. Don't pay attention to the value traded because that would be well over $8,000. But the shop owner doesn't care about that. He cares about the difference. He cares about his profit and what it cost him to replace the items he just sold. This is why numismatic coins are so much harder to sell to a coin shop. The rate of return is not guaranteed like it is for the bullion coin, and they'll need to actively seek a buyer for it. Then to replace that coin, they would have to be active buyers, and they don't want to be active buyers, they're passive buyers. You bring them the product, they buy it at a cheaper price than what they can sell it for. This is why you won't receive market value by selling a numismatic coin to a coin shop. The reason why is because in order to replace it, they would have to then go pay market price for it, and that's not what they want to do. Unless they got lucky and somebody just walked in the door that day in order to sell them their replacement. My last point is to reiterate that this method of business does not care about the market value of the product. And what that means for us, stackers, collectors, or traders, is that the shop will still be open when silver hits the moon. It will still be open if we get $50 an ounce silver. They will sell to you whatever you want to buy, as long as they can replace it for cheaper. Now if they end up do shutting down, obviously they've accumulated enough silver and gold to retire on, thousands and thousands of ounces, but this would stop their future inflow of cash, and that's not what the business strives for. Instead, it would rather just make a buck or two here and there repeatedly for as long as they keep their shop open or their online shop open. I hope that helps put it into perspective how local coin shops, how online retailers, how gold and silver shops make money, and why they'll still be there if silver hits the moon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.